Microphone check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast is underway. Mr. J Hill, I'm here. Healer Bay is here. Monique is in the building. Yay. Jewel is back okay, so in the boys, building. Hey. What up? What up? What up? What's good, man? Jewel, Jewel is back here. Jewel is back there. Yeah, Jewel is yeah, like, yeah. not how to give her a great job. Is here. Yes, I need all that love, Shade. Hey, all girl. that love. Hey, How girl. You Alex is not in the building, so yes, I'm in here with a bunch less of girls. Males, more. Not you in here with a bunch of girls. A bunch right. of ladies. I was about to, this is about to be bad for me. Why I'm in here bunch with you? Of women. You know, why I'm in here, of course. But why I'm in is a camera guy, so he can't really, you know what I'm saying? He can't, he can't help me. You know he can't talk shit for real, for real. But it's, it's all good. It's all good. Um, why well, always be in the back with the, whenever yeah. Jay say something, he's like, Facts, yeah, like, bro. Speaking of that, but since it's all girls and I'm the only guy, let's let's do a little diving into um the this Instagram clip. What clip? The shit I posted. And What'd you, you post mad it? about? What'd you post? The Instagram clip from last episode. Oh, um, <laughs> per Shade was pissed. She ain't like that. No, I didn't like it. Niggas was wild. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas was in the co- comments wilding, but. I was just like, I, I didn't guess. like it because it was taken so far out of the content of what I was tr- saying. And it really irritated me because I just was like, do you guys listen? Or like you just hear key words and like mm-hmm. triggers, pure them, mm-hmm. you know? So that's where, more so where I like it. But it wasn't sexist based though, because it was females and guys. It wasn't like a, you know, like a more male or a more female thing. It was very mixed, you know? So, well, I, I guess be specific what I didn't like. Or no, like, I so mean, like, whatever, it, it was more so one, you know, it was getting taken out of content that somebody was saying like, you're married, you're, you marry for a business. Like it was, it kept going in that like, women only marrying for a business because like, first of all, I would hope one was in love to marry in the first place before we even talk about business. But even prior to marriage, I hope that you guys have been discussing your goals so that you guys can know all about each other. Um, but then I even dived a little deeper and I, and I really listened to what I said and I was like, I still wasn't wrong for what I said. Because at the end of the day, as black people, we need more than enough of the black dollar owning as much as we can. Mm. And like I've seen and I've been still in this quote for the remainder ever since that clip is, one day my home Everything in there is going to circulate through the black dollar. Mm -hmm. So that means every family will need a business that I'm shopping from. That Mm -hmm. means it's no more Warner Bros. It's the Hills. Okay? Mm -hmm. You work for the Hills. Okay? And again, a commonality of my husband and I, I we would have to own. We would need ownership includes business and partnership no matter which way you want to look at it so yes i was a little irritated that it was getting taken out of the content too far like people were saying like people don't focus on love anymore and god said and i was like whoa 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 my name is healer bay for a reason relax i happily love my lord (laughs) baby what i'm saying is ownership but you know i also didn't articulate it thoroughly enough for the people to understand what I was trying to say. But I also was just doing my ancestor work. My ancestors speak through me and I got the power, you know, and the spirit talking through me. But I know it always makes sense because it's manifesting out. It's manifesting out. So I know what the fuck I was saying. I know what the fuck I be talking about with her. <laughs> okay. So there we go. I'm not, I'm not upset anymore. I was irritated about it because like that was just, you know, but I'm also getting used to that because like you got to understand, like I'm also a human being. So, you know, it's not even the pet, the, the, it wasn't so much that people disagreed. It was more so the content it was being put in. And it was like, that's to me falls on your character a little bit. If you too much perceive it in a way, it's like, whoa, 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 I'm not saying that I'm marrying for business or I'm marrying anybody for money or I need money to sustain or it's all about the money. Like if anybody knows me, knows my morals and the things that I stand for is the dollar is not it. But that can like sometimes like play a little bit like, damn, like, who do y'all think I am right now? Like, hold on. Like, you know what I mean? So like out of human nature, I I did get, I would, I would just like, I was confused. Like, you know, but then again, like, you know, 
I gotta get ready for it because I'm gonna get bigger than big. So fuck y'all for <laughs> it. You know, let's not get it fucked up. Like I don't really give a fuck in that way. It's just you know I'm just a little human. I can be a little sensitive sometimes, but you know it's still fuck y'all. So period. <laughs> now what you got to say? I don't, I don't got nothing to say, man. So how was your Sorry. week? How was how, how you been going? Um, week? we did five workouts this week. That's Shout good. Out. So Con- congrats. Come on. It's Keep getting snatched. My double chin is lowering because I was putting on that heavy weight. Um, my leg is broken or something. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it. My body's definitely paying for it, but it's getting snatched. So. Shout out to the family for pushing through because the whole family did five workouts this week, not just myself, the baby, the papa. We all here. You know what I'm saying? Um, so the week was cool. Um, what about y'all? How, yeah. was your, how was your week, Monique? Um, my week was good. Um, new business endeavor, so I'm Come excited on, about business. that. Come on, business. But yeah, I've just been doing research and stuff and finding out yeah. different things about a lot of stuff. Knowledge like is power. Ownership and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Ownership and stuff. What about you, Jules? <laughs> you know, Manifesting you know. it out. We just keep talking about ownership. Cool. Well, I, you got I, a couple I, things to speak of. Jules is here. Yes. yes. You got a couple of things to Come on, give about. it to him, Jules. Yeah, so like for me, you know, I'm, I'm going to catch y'all up on the past couple of weeks because yeah, y'all know good. I've been in my A for a little bit, but yes. I've been good. I had to take some time, as y'all know, to get my mind right, get my spirit back on track. So I just been trying to get physically healthy, mentally healthy. I've been trying to revamp businesses. I've been trying to spend more time with my family. So that's pretty much where I've been at. Yeah. And I'm happy to be back. I love it. Yes. Take your time. Like, it's so good. I I love it. Like, just take a step back sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Sometimes you got to know when you got to know when to pull yourself back because, you know, as my mom would say, you got to know when to hold and when to fold. You can't sit out here for the whole show. And no one to walk away. Kenny Rogers. Period. I'll mom. call you. I'll call you when that segment comes in. Yeah. So you can't sit out here for the whole. Skedaddle. Show, Sorry. You know what I'm gonna do? Talking about sit, um knowing when to fall back. I'm a I'm gonna fall back on this episode and I'm gonna let the ladies take over. It's gonna be a lady take over. Oh, we gonna call this lady take over. Like so, You're I'm still gonna right, get my right. input. The, the woman's like the fuck up. Like, no. The lady take over. Yeah, I'm gonna just let. I'm gonna just. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. I think I'm gonna change my top game every day, just because I think. I got, I got something. I got something that's gonna make Alex the ladies. I think I got something that's gonna make the ladies just you know what I'm saying have something to say about something, something, something. So let's Good let's man. get straight into it, man. Let's right, get into on, it. So, oh man. Woo chow. So you know I was stumbling across a couple topics this week, and some of my topics were kind of like they kind of feed on off of one another, and they kind of go together. So just follow along with me. So the first one I just want to start touching on is bitter spouses. No, not bitter spouses. Bitter Bitty baby mom. But bit like Actually as far as mom. parental control. So bitter co parents, mm-hmm. bitter ex spouses that you have to deal with because you have a kid. Uh, those is who we're talking about when we're talking about bitter exes. Okay, because if you don't got no kid, your ex shouldn't be bitter. Yeah, I'm saying I never had, I never experienced a bitter we, ex. What are, why are you bitter? Like you can move on with your life. We're not tied, so it shouldn't be. If you are a bitter ex and you have no ties to somebody, seek therapy. So, <laughs> um, but as far as bitter baby mamas, baby mama specifically, drama. baby mamas, and girls, we have even a baby bitter daddy drama. daddies. Bitter baby daddies. But the reason why I say that is uh, I don't really want to put too much light on bitter baby daddies because I think men already have to deal with the deadbeat yes. role more likely than none. I think that's what people give them. So I really want to focus on just the bitter baby mamas. I'm sorry. I got to do it. You know, I know some fellas are going to love this because <laughs> I cannot stand, like, just as almost as I can't stand the deadbeat. Like, they're just, like, neck and neck to me. Like, I cannot stand a bitter baby mama. And um, I think that, one, people don't talk about it as a lot because men already get bashed, you know, like, as if they don't do as much as the mom or if they don't, you know, that like, they're always kind of in that secondary light when it comes to the child. So, and I don't think it gets said a lot because, you know, it's scary because, like, if they're bitter, it's like, oh, you was talking about me. You're not going to see your kid today. <laughs> oh, you was, you know, you feeling away. Oh, well, I'm just making this more difficult for you. So I think they try to not speak about it 
because it's just like they don't even want no more problems. I don't even want no more problems. I already got to deal with it. I don't want no more problems. But baby, we know that there's bitter baby mamas out there. You know what I mean? Um, and just to shed a little inside story on, you know, my situation is um, I obviously have a daughter. Um, her father has other kids, whatever. I've never been a bitter baby mom. Like, that's just not, you know, why I even... It's just not in my character. And the reason why, so I also kind of grew up the same way that my daughter grew up. Like my dad had other kids, so him and my mom were not together. But I actually did get to witness sides of my mom and my sister's mom not just being bitter. Like for whatever reason, I don't, like, I'm not even going to take the blame off my mom. I don't know who it was. But because of that, it really altered me and my sister's relationship. So we actually didn't get close until I was older because we spent so much time in the between time of my mom and her mom let my mom tell her she was a bitter big mom but like i said you know i don't know she could be lying she could be the bitter i don't know but i know it's bitter like right and what i mean by bitter is anything that's going against the healthy co-parenting way it's just bitter like if it's petty if it's spiteful if it's demeaning to the 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 parent if it's making it difficult nothing has to be difficult about raising y'all baby because y'all are not together there should be no emotional feelings unless it's something supportive of the child okay so a couple things that made me think of this one we have the whole ray j and prince's love situation going on and um i guess they got a nasty breakup um so that's kind of the second part um I'm going to go into just kind of dealing with like a nasty breakup, especially when there's kids involved. And then another one, um, was Russell Wilson, um, verse future, you know, that step parenting split off, like, you know, and what happened was it was little baby future's birthday. Russell like gave him like this profound son message and future kind of was just like, happy birthday, son. And, Russell's like, I love you and all this time we spent and all this thing. He's like, daddy, love you. And it was a couple conversation. Was that right? Is that wrong? But one conversation that brought up is that came up was how graceful Sierra handles dealing with a guy like future, because it looks like on the outside, I'm not in the relationship, but it doesn't seem like future spends that much time with the kid, but Sierra is just not bitter. Like she, you know, he has these, all these other baby mothers, like I need money and they're slamming him with child support and they're just going through this process. And Sarah's just like, my child has everything my child needs. I ain't about to argue with you. I ain't about to put you on blast. You could do what you gonna do. And there we go, right? And that's kind of how I also deal with my daughter's father, right? I don't need to bicker with you. I don't need to argue with you. If you want to do something positive, you do that. But anything negative, we don't need to speak. But isn't it easy to say that when, like, you have somebody that's in the child's life? Because you know, if you don't have somebody in the child's life, I feel like it's it's the the stress is more stress. You get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You need more support. You get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? For example, if let's say if she ever was a regular a regular woman, mm -hmm. right? Like like all his other baby moms, mm -hmm. I really don't know them. But right. let's just say if you're a regular woman. You do need the extra support, but when you don't need it, it's like I have no reason to reach out to you. So like, I don't want to, mm -hmm. I don't want to take nothing away from because mm -hmm. it ain't nothing good about being bitter. Yeah. But at the same time, I can kind of understand why that will make you more or less bitter. Right. Because if you got somebody that's there, that's that's stepping up, that's yeah. helping you with the, the child and things like that, I think it's like, I mean, I really don't need you for real. So for real. what I was gonna say, I'm gonna hand it over to Jules in a second. Is I would, I agree with that. I would agree with that, but I was like that when I was single. Like you know, what I'm saying like. I don't, she good. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't gonna be a positive force here, you don't need to be here. Mm. And we don't need to argue. It's nothing to argue about. It's no bitter. But I also learned that from my mom. Like the same thing my mom told my dad, like, look, whether you her or not, like she's gonna grow up and one day be able to make her own decisions. So I'm not about to put no force, no pressure. I ain't about to argue with you, whatever, whatever. But I was also more talking about the, I wanted to go in, take that. Cause sorry, I kind of went and like trying to tie it all in. But I'm talking about the what I want to get into is the dads who are doing good, oh, yeah, and the mothers are giving them hell. Go ahead, Joel. And and for me, I'm just gonna kind of tie on both of you guys' mm -hmm. point because I feel like both of them are accurate. Mm -hmm. I guess how do you determine, like, let's say I'm the mother that doesn't need my child's father and we're mm -hmm. not together, 
and I don't need him. I'm not on Sierra's mm-hmm. tip. Like I could use the assistance, but I'm not like pressing him. Yeah. For it. So like, am I automatically bitter because I'm just on my, mm, I don't need this nigga for nothing type of thing. Or am mm-hmm. I bitter once I'm like, you ain't doing shit for this child. Fuck you. You know, all that type of stuff. Like where does, like when, where is it determined? Cause I, I feel like. To me, I think it, it makes the, the moment you become bitter is the moment you try to like turn my son away, my child yeah. against me. The moment you, you yeah. enter in my personal space right now, like say if I got a girlfriend and then yeah. you're trying to like sabotage, sabotage that, or you're mm-hmm. trying to like intervene mm-hmm. with what yeah. I got on my personal life. That's the moment you become bitter. But yeah. honestly, just like, that's just how I speak. So you yeah. saying that I don't need you or it's like either yeah, you, you want to be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's not bitter. Like you don't have to say it, but, but I understand that language. Cause that's just how, like, if you be like, you know, like it's either you going to be here for your child or not. Like, I know that, but at the same time, I understand that. So it's like, okay, that ain't bitter. Like, you might, it might be unnecessary yeah. to say, but it ain't bitter. Like, that's yeah. not bitter. It's so like, what I think too mm, is, yeah. though, like, I don't want it to get confused, though, because you're not bitter if you ask for your support. Like, yeah, because at the end of the day, it is supposed to be two parents. Like, so, you know, if we're supposed to, and I'm like, yo, like, I'm paying for, I don't know, let's say dance school, and you know she's in dance school, the fee is $500 a month, I got 250 do you have your 250 And say the guy is just like, oh, I mean, but he ain't, he'll never have it, like, whatever, and you want to let him know, like, you know what, like, every time, you know, I need help on something, you're not, like, you know, helpful, whatever, you can absolutely Yeah, that's not call. bitter, I don't think. That's not bitter. Like, that's not bitter at all. And I agree, but like, I feel like some people will misconstrue that. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, well, she just, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. But, like, bitter. you know, the people, the, but what I feel bad for is the men who do go above and beyond. Mm-hmm. So that's really all I want to go into with better spouses. So I actually have a good friend, um, and he's a great father, right? And the mother and him broke up. So he moved on, got a house big for him and his daughter doing his thing and all these things. And um, I guess once they broke up, the mother wasn't able to ever really transition the same how he did. You know what I mean? She didn't have like a job like him. She didn't have the same, you know, endeavor. So she was, you know, in a smaller apartment, whatever, whatever. So. She was literally trying to make his life difficult. Like, you know, like first it was, you need to give me money so I could get her a house so I could fund your daughter. He was like, well, I got a house. You know. She could live with me, shit. Like, Like, well, he kind of was like, she could live with me. Or like, if you got a two bedroom apartment, she already, she still got a room at the house. When we rotate off, she got a room here, she got a room there. It's more than enough. So when she wants to, when she went to start taking him to court, she was just being petty, like, not to, like telling the like lying saying he wasn't giving her no money like saying that she like lives with her parents so she could like she was trying to really max him out for the most but he's doing everything like clothes uh dance school private school whatever and she's just like so he had to go start actually documenting everything he did so that he could actually go and fight the battle because he was really irritated because he's like yo why are you doing this like you know but and, but she was just being bitter like it it, it they it, you know, it was no other reason, like, from what I know, anyway, of somebody just being upset that you're in a different space than they are, and you, they want to, they feel like the playing ground should be equal. But just because you have a child with somebody doesn't mean your life changes when their life changes. Mm. It, like, it doesn't mean, like, okay, well, now your daddy got a house, now I got to go get a house. So, like, so we could... But it's not that y'all broke up like y'all lifestyles. If y'all lifestyles are different, it's different. Like, you know what I mean? It is what it is. And um, so long story short, like, I think the biggest thing is guys don't know that they can actually like win in child support. So like what happened is he started documenting everything, like everything he does when he picks his daughter. I mean, down to the littlest of things, like when he picks his daughter up, like when he drops her off the times, like he was literally putting it down so that he could prevent pre, uh, present to court. By the time he went to court, the judge was so irritated with the mother, uh, just her, her being irrational, like uh, basically he would go get her on his visitation days. She wouldn't, she wouldn't let, she wouldn't go. Mm-hmm. Like she would keep the kid. Like, so he just was fighting this battle. Judge finally got irritated with her. He had all his receipts. Long story short, they now have split custody and he don't got to pay her a dime. Like, so he get a week, she get a week. He get a week, she get a week. Mm-hmm. And she was like, pissed mm. like pissed so he was starting a date he was she would like 
like fuck up his car like just like do little things that was just really bitter tell her her daughter like mean things about the dad like you know what i mean so all that to say is those are the bitter things and spouses and i was trying to get some insight or maybe how somebody can do if you have a bitter baby mother, if you have a bitter maybe baby daddy. Like, <clears throat> I just wanted to shed, I, I just wanted to put it out there because I don't think people talk about it and I don't think they get enough. Like, yo, I'm tired of dealing with this bitch. Like, this mm-hmm. bitch is evil. I just want to see my kid. Like, you know, I don't think they get enough people like saying like, oh, like we here for you. We understand. Like, we know it's out there. And um, so first, I that's my main thing. I, like, go to court. I think a lot of black men have a problem. Like, I don't even want to get the courts involved. Like, it's it. just, it's sad. Cause like, it's like, you know, it's already too much going on. You know, cops and my shit. And I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? People checking my background and my references and where I live. Go to court. And, it's, mm-hmm. and I'm sorry just to add to that because mm-hmm. I agree and it's like it's sad because it's like the women are taking advantage of the fact that they know the system is against the black man yep. and then it's like you'll do things to yep. be spiteful just to mess yep. up his life even more but it ends up messing things up for the yep. child yeah yep. Yep. that shit is crazy I think um, um <clears throat> far as men like you said you just gotta take it to court and yeah. just do it p- the legal way don't fight back like don't have your sisters and your cousins going to jumper don't do that do it the legal way because they will if like trust me they feel for y'all too they see it like would it like honestly like i don't think there's a lot of like that get shown on ain't shit mothers hmm. okay hmm. like it's always oh mommies no there's some women who are just not Build you gotta deal. understand like people in general some people are still eight years old at yes. like 30. Okay? Not they haven't built dealt with to no be parents tra- no. childhood trauma they haven't processed all their little past situations that they're gonna, and they're still reacting to things as if they're eight years old. Mm-hmm. Like, and people that, don't um, even realize that. Sorry to cut you no, off. You go, you remember Jordan. that, what I wrote to y'all yesterday in the meetings, what that uh, mother had said on Facebook about the yes. mm. baby's father? Ridiculous. Eight years old. What, what did she say, Joel? Hold on, let me pull it up. Like, no, like, but some people still react and they still respond that way as if, like, just petty and just mean and spiteful and, you know, just, and it's really just, and you know them not being very satisfied in their own lives like you know what i'm saying so they're just like dishing this out mm-hmm. and you know what i mean and it sucks because a kid's involved like kids feel it they, they have to it. deal with it on the back end they see it it's the emotion and you're really ultimately showing them that's how they can act mm-hmm. when it's their time and it's not you know it's, what I mean? it's not like, really fair because like i feel like the child for the most part is always going to take his mom's yeah. side or whoever side if whoever he or she stays yeah. with so like if you stand with your moms you always gonna be like take her side because you only yeah. see life through her lens yeah. because this right. is what she's yeah. mani- not not even manipulating yeah. in a, right in a, so you kind of like on purpose but like mommy nah yeah you're doing this to mommy <clears throat> well whole time your mom's just a bitch yeah okay. and it's, okay. it's, 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 i was i'm I was, sorry your mom's was a bitch child i was i was mom don't do that don't talk about my father like I yeah was that child. like i'm gonna check my mother don't, never don't. talked down about my father to me so i don't talk down to my daughter about her father because mm-hmm. again she's gonna know for herself yep. my daughter knows what's up like i don't have to say anything i don't have to understand that the kids are recording right they're sponges all of this stuff Facts. so they like whoa, whoa right whoa. and eventually they're gonna be like oh i, oh, see, I see what's what up really yeah, yeah. I see, they know and they will get it's like they'll process themselves and don't know exactly what to do don't feed them babies hmm. no mess about their dads hmm. so listen to this facebook status i'm not gonna say the mother's name but <sighs> she said now if i would have aborted 10 years ago I would have not had these problems today. A disobedient, ungrateful child with Oof. a fake ass, thug ass, jack ass forefather. Mm. I said what the fuck I said. Mm. Damn. She, so she mad she at the father eat, and child? But you know, mad people don't talk about that. Mm-hmm. They don't talk about how... But she's you, mad at the child. Yeah, the mother will because resent he the child for wants the father. To be with the father. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Like, how do you resent your child? You, but it's real. Like, it's, people not talking mm-hmm. about it. Resenting your child... Because, because you're like, mad at the father, you know, and, and let's not let it skate because there's got there's dads who's not in their child's life because they're not with the mother either. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. and I think that's just such a problem. Like, and, and it's and that's why I think a lot of the our generation has so many issues because the homes have always been divided because people really was just getting together, shacking up, fucking had a baby, but never that was never a part of the plan. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So now they break up and it's like, well, I don't got no side of you, but like. Your seed? Right. 
it's crazy because like, like <clears throat> I wanted to I wanted to change my topic right but it like now that we're here it goes directly into what I wanted to talk about and I wanted to talk about um just like the perception thing. right like and how do you see things on your through your own lens versus somebody else's lens because mm-hmm. like man Shadi was talking and like sometimes we bump heads or whatever and my story don't quite be her story mm-hmm. and she thinks that takes away from her character but it's like for me as long as I'm telling the story as is how my perception don't matter but like to her like it does matter because like that's her character right mm-hmm. but I'm trying to figure out like how can you even monitor that can you like how what's a, a best way to like even go about because I still have my perception right. I can I can give you right. the story like yo all right this is what happened with us right. you know what I'm saying but I feel this way right. and, and I still really can just- sway a child or a, right. a, a, a right. human. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's crazy because like it's really the lens you're looking at it, right? So we could both be looking out at the same pair of glasses, but his is tinted yellow, mine's is tinted pink, mm-hmm. right? So we see the same exact thing, but our feelings on what we processed are completely it's different. different. Mm-hmm. And but that goes, it, it can go so many lanes though, because it, it's numerous of reasons why that can happen. Like, and that's why like it's just important that we continue to like dig deep in ourselves to figure it out. Because, like for example, I may look at something like, you know, well, you did it this way because of this, because that's my thinking. Like, because some something in me registers that mm-hmm. as this. He may look at me and be like, nah, I didn't do it because of that. I did it because of this because his process that's his intention on how he did it mm-hmm. through his like his knowledge of what made sense and um and i'm trying to break it down even simplified than that right so say we have a moment right we crash the car outside jay says it's the same car uh, crash the car jay says boom Damn, I don't know. I have my the wheels sw- sw- the wheels sur- swerved. My my arm got tired. I crashed mm-hmm. in the car. I seen you not paying attention. You look down and you pass the car. You know what I'm saying? But the car crashed. But we have two separate ways in our head that it processed that it happened. Like you know what I mean? So that's what we're like kind of getting at. Just not, but like, and what he means when he's saying like, not saying what you mean, but like, what I get out of what he's saying like, how do we come to a mutual a mutual you know i think that everybody just has to respect how everybody feels Mm -hmm. because i just don't think there's sometimes you can't you can't really change anybody's perception but people's perception changes Mm -hmm. because as time goes on and whatever processed you to think this way or processed you to think this way it changes after a while when you see it in a different repetition. It's like, oh, because it could also happen this way or this mm-hmm. way. You know what I mean? And it's really just like your mind expanding in places. And that is something that, that's one of the areas that Jay and I probably struggle in the most because, like, we both look at things two different ways. Like, that's just who we are. Like, he like he thinks one way, I think one way. And, you know, it has to be, like, a common ground where we come together to be like, you know what, well, that's just how you did but trusting the fact that but my intention was this but like you, or whatever I've reached the common ground both in relationships and well um uh sexual relationships or uh whatever this is called girlfriend and boyfriend husband and wife versus mm-hmm. relationship between friends versus relationship mm-hmm. between parent and mm-hmm. child mm-hmm. how do you come to that common ground or how do you approach that situation because it's easy to say you know uh we gotta respect each other's feelings right yeah. but when it comes down to it when a nigga, when it seems like Something somebody else. got you fucked up, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, all that shit go out the it window. sounds good, yeah. but at the same time, as yeah. us being human, it's like, yeah, I'm, I might be somebody yeah. and I'm like, yeah, man, like, you yeah. know, we broke up because of this, da da da. But I just ain't fuck with how your right, mom right. was lazy, or right, that's right. what I thought. Like she, right. she right. ain't worked as hard as me, so she was lazy, right? right. Mm-hmm. So, to the moms, it's like, like I was working, I just don't yeah. have to work as hard as you. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Right. How do you come to that common ground? Because you can be like, yeah, I respect it, but yeah. when you ain't respecting yeah. something that got you fucked up. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Like, facts. Yeah, so yeah. I, how do you come to yeah. that common ground? Can you I even th- get to that common ground? Yeah, so that's just the thing about humans, right? I just think that humans, like, we're too caught up on well, needing it to be a way. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, and, like, we have to figure out to make it, like, a way. But the thing is, it may never really just be a way. You just kind of, like, like, for example, you know the quote where they always, like, Everybody gonna hurt you is just who you you gotta pick your person. Who's worth, mm-hmm. who's, yeah, who's like worth suffering like, for? Yeah. Who's worth suffering for? Some people you 
like for example relationships either make or break like we know that they either yeah. gonna go far you're gonna get married you're gonna go to long haul or you're gonna that's gonna be done and you're gonna be on to the you know the mm -hmm. next soulmate or whatever right the thing is is along that journey like i my, my opinion like of getting it to go long is like as you see somebody for who they are you know kind of like okay mm -hmm she's harmless mm -hmm. like even though she like or he's harmless like you know what i'm saying it's not to harm me and you processing is just your processing neither one of us are wrong or right mm -hmm. so if you process is that you know what i mean S somebody eventually is somewhere along the journey it never changed the perception i don't think people are going to be who they are mm -hmm. but i think what happens is like somebody is the bigger person at a point to be like I ain't tripping on that. Yeah. Just, you know what I'm saying? Or she just, this is just who she is. But I love her and I want to go the long haul. Like, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and to piggyback off of what you just said, I think that's accurate. But I'm just thinking, like for me, I'm just thinking how I was raised, right? Mm -hmm. Like for me, growing up in Baltimore, I had a two-parent household. My parents were married. Mm -hmm. They've been together since way before I was mm -hmm. together. All of my friends didn't have that. Mm -hmm. And it took me a long time of growing up and learning that the way I was raised, the way mom and daddy taught me, such and such ain't have daddy to right, teach them that or right, teach them that. Right. And I had to kind of be yeah. like open-minded about it and mm -hmm. then just kind of have no expectations for right. people where a lot of my friends can learn from me, but yeah. I'm not going to judge you. Like, all right, we're going to yeah. run a project. Right. So I'm yes. not really feel like, oh, I'm better than you because right. mm -hmm. I'm coming to your house in a project. Right. But at the same time, if you can learn from me, why not? And the right. same thing, vice versa, because yeah. that's my street yeah. sports I got from hanging around some of those same yeah. friends. So yeah. do y'all yeah. think that, like, now that we're in this conversation, uh -huh. right, do y'all think, because I feel... Is a is a strength behind both, and what mm -hmm. I mean by that is like so having a two parent household. I, in my perception, I would think that it makes you deal with a lot of things that the person that didn't come from a two parent household wouldn't necessarily deal with because you've seen your parents grow through mm -hmm. things, things. And you understand yeah. that mm -hmm. like all right, we can work this yes. out. But when you don't see that, right? You, right. It's like you're. It's I don't your, want to say stronger, but yes. it's like. You don't well, take as much because it's like I don't have to deal with this, right? Right. Do you think having a two parent well, household make you go go not unnecessarily? I think you can grow in both, more. honestly. Yeah. I think you can really grow in both because how I'm thinking about it, like I think about my best friend. All she had was her mom. But all she had to see was that single black woman that was mm -hmm. hustling, bustling, mm -hmm. doing everything she had to do to make ends meet mm -hmm. with or without a man. And I had both where it's like I seen my parents go through the storms mm -hmm. and, you know, struggles and everything but i never wanted for anything like yeah. mm -hmm. and i don't know it was like i don't i wouldn't make it like oh my childhood was so much better but right. i do feel like it's certain things it's important to have both because yeah. i just feel like it was mm -hmm. certain things that i always had that i couldn't really explain to them yeah that they were missing without being offensive and but i also and think that's mm, a little crazy yeah but oh go ahead I, bring your mic back too, come to, yeah speaking to I, pull it I, back, pull it. oh i never had both of my parents in the house, mm -hmm. but I had both of my parents. Like I knew yeah. my mother and yeah, I knew my father. Yeah. But the relationship, like I seen my mother say wild stuff, so it was like a, it was like a little crazy yeah. because I was just like, no, nah, he's really not that type of person. So yeah. like when you see certain things, you're just like, oh. So I think too. So that's kind of where I was gonna go. So I think like because like you know I I had kind of a well balanced. So like um, I didn't have a two parent home. I went to foster care, but when I left foster care, I had a two parent home. Mm -hmm. And then, but then I went, I moved back with my mom, but all my, uh, a lot of my friends had two parents homes though, right? But what I realized that a lot of my friends is, y you can, even in a two parent home, you can be lacking and hmm. missing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So it really alters your relationship on what you need anyway. Mm -hmm. Because like, for example, like I got friends like two parent home lit, mom is um, um, unemotionally available, like mm -hmm. don't show no love, no kiss, no, so, the type of relationship she looks for is like the she needs a lot of affection attention and whatever and she feels like depleted when she doesn't get that in her relationship so she cannot really sustain a relationship because she's always looking for that one thing right. then you have another one that um had a great dad and mom but they both was always working so they always wanted that quality time mm -hmm. never got that quality time so all they really looking for when they go you know into out in the world is like this quality time or like so it's, it's like i think it really depends then i like for example then i have a friend who's just lived with her mom but had so much love like all the time has like the like when you see like that clear huxtable mom like that mm -hmm just full nurturing and she lit she she's married like she like you know what i mean and she mm -hmm. had a one but that's why i said like i think it really i don't really think it matters of the mm -hmm. two home to one home i think it matters what you're filled with 
yes. like along your journey yes. because whatever you're lacking is what you're going to look for in your spouse like that's what you're subconsciously looking yes. for like mm -hmm. to fill that void or like when you meet a guy like if he like does something that reminds you of that's that mm -hmm. spot i need like that's who you want now like or these things because again like you could be in a two-parent home and still miss a lot of things mm -hmm. like you know what i'm saying like or you like in as vice versa obviously for single parent you know what i mean homes you, you miss more than mm. you know mm -hmm. you're missing a figure so like you're already yeah, missing yeah. a huge gap but i don't think it really i think in dating it matters but it don't because more so in relationships more right 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 like because like like you said like also it depends what you see because like if you like have friends like or like some type of mentor that is married you you've seen yeah, what you love see. can look like like yeah. you know what i mean you see mm -hmm. just because it's not in your house it doesn't mean you don't have examples like right. you know what i mean i like i never had grew up with a father but i had great men around yeah. so i knew what a father looked mm -hmm. like i knew what a father was supposed to do mm -hmm. so i know what to expect out of my husband or a father for my child and what i would need for you know a sustaining household yeah. um so i don't i don't think that's why i, I don't like to like like for example, I used to say, so one of my one of my exes came from a two parent home, like, but I used to say we never worked because our backgrounds were too different. I was like, he came from a two parent home, like his mom, like every like everything was just too perfect. Like I had a more rocky yeah. childhood coming up. I was like, you can't understand my background, so you mm -hmm. can't understand me. But it was a lie. I was just actually young. And I didn't understand what I needed at the time. But when I grew up, there's nothing wrong with why, why, dating a guy like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I would tell my friend, like, that's okay. But there's nothing wrong with dating the other side either. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's just really I what they're like, filled with. I like, feel like we're so used to, like, we're used to the, the pain that mm -hmm. we, yeah. that's the only thing that we're okay with. Like, we're yeah. comfortable with the pain. So, like, anything yeah. is, anytime it's different, yep. we can't accept different. And that's just, yep. that's not even just pain. That's just anything in life. Yeah. Every, you, you'll, you'll, you notice that like once somebody do something different, everybody's mm -hmm. uncomfortable. Yes. Like yes. At, at first, yes. right? And then right. they get used to and it. Get, but yeah. the first time is like, what is this? Remember the first time we started went guys started wearing like smaller clothes, right? Mm -hmm. The first time I don't know, you was introduced to sex. The first time you was introduced to oral sex, like it's yeah. always yeah. once it's, it's new, it's like mm -hmm. I'm gonna reject yeah. it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yep. So it's yep. like it's always like that until you mature and then yeah. you understand that okay, this is not nothing wrong yeah, right this is actually can help me yeah but right. um yeah. absolutely what happened wait what happened with uh y'all some ray j and uh so like they, yeah what happened like, they're um so i guess well they you know they've been on and off for like ever um they got married even they stole our idea basically but whatever nah they did make their <laughs> podcast just like ours yeah. it is because ray j follow j and you say it <laughs> my baby <laughs> and they got they had the green couch and everything hmm. and now they broke up so that's the thing I don't know. Like, like, they probably got a couple dollars nothing. off of that. They, they probably sure set that up. Like, all right, look, we're going to break yeah. up. We're going to mm -hmm. make this first. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. You know who Ray J is. Don't forget who um, Ray J is. But long story short, uh, apparently they're going, th Ray J's trying to file for custody. Mm. Yeah. So I heard, Wait, the, he allegedly. Um, what do you mean, why wouldn't he? You say he's trying to file for full custody. Full custody. Full custody. Yeah, what's wrong with that? They need both of their parents. Because when you do full custody, that means just he has custody. That means they don't see mommy. What do you mean? And he ain't going to be joint doing the mommy stuff. They need joint custody. custody. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean. Like, yeah. Like, Jay always talking about saying, if we have a baby, I'm taking my kid. Like, so where are you taking them to? <laughs> Around the corner? Like, see you later. <laughs> You'll be back. Bye. They'll be back. <laughs> Look, until, Take you. Go ahead. Until it starts yeah, crying. Okay. The baby going to cry. Well, you be like, all right. Ah, Jay was like, like, <laughs> like, he made, I remember like in the beginning of our relationship, he made a comment like that. He's like, because if I have a kid, like my kid coming with me. Like I'm taking my kid everywhere. <laughs> I was like, boy. You going to be sad and It's so cute. Uh, but uh, niggas uh, think, he be over, he be playing because he be over on my, like Amaya. <laughs> I need my space. <laughs> <laughs> space even i'd be like all right, man. Let's, i uh, wish these teachers could take their kids back <laughs> i keep saying they can pick your kids up Facts. at least for the weekend no, Shit. That's, i ain't gonna lie like yo picture like single parent homes that's just like stuck in the right crib now yeah with, with the, all them kids oh my God. but you know it's crazy because like even just off some real shit like you know i wasn't always like the most creative parent because like i was a mom young so it's like i really the mom I am now, I really grew into that. Like mm -hmm. that, I was not always like that. Like I, I used to, when I was younger, I used to feel really bad because I used to feel like I was a bad mother because like I just didn't 
know the balance of what you know i was good mom like of course bath eat clothe but i'm talking about the stimulating things yep. that a child mm-hmm. needs that i didn't like i had to learn along the way like just like making sure like you know like you do constructive things like paint mm-hmm. they're using their fingers so their brains and like Gross everything can move skills. simultaneously yep. so mm-hmm. that they can connect even in social activity mm-hmm. and being able to you know understand you know just feelings and yep. move. like you really have to do yeah. things with kids mm-hmm. like kids cannot just sit in the house on a tablet like yeah, they right. cannot you can't just like go to your room all day like Mm-mm. and i do feel bad for those kids that are in, right like right or like can't like do things like they touch something and they get their ass beat yep. it's like did you even explain to them what they did wrong nope. like i feel really bad like mm. um That's so me. it's crazy um <laughs> no, me. So I, had, I actually had a moment i actually had a moment with a mind like so like the one thing i pride myself on as a mother that i always wanted to make sure I did. I always, if I'm wrong, I always apologize to Amaya. Mm-hmm. That's one. Mm-hmm. My mother never used to tell me she was sorry. She, was sorry. she used mm-hmm. to do wrong things. Like, and she never would say she was sorry, but it's important because I'm teaching her to be able to apologize yes. when you're wrong. Yeah. I never had that. And like, that's just never, like, it was always, yep. what I said is what I said. Like I said, be dead ass wrong though. Be like, so, yep. like you mm-hmm. forgot the shit the whole time she found it in the trunk. She already beat my ass for it, but yep. you found it. Like mm-hmm. you ain't even come back and tell me sorry. Can't so, that ass open You can't, you <laughs> can't okay, not <laughs> like, you can't even right. know, you know what I'm saying you could have gave me a treat or something now right. like, the fuck you know what I mean dog. right like, I'm beat now like, right the fuck? But no with, what you just saying that cause it just made me think like what you're doing is you're recreating like that foundation and mm-hmm. I just yeah. feel like that ties into all of the topics of what we just talked about yeah. whether it's like yeah. your parents or relationship yeah. friendship all that. it's like I think the the cure to it all is like just creating that solid foundation yeah. mm-hmm. you know right. facts you need yeah. foundation for everything you like do they, they, they break it down structure like building, is important they're yeah, building a house you know yeah. what I'm saying like you oh, need that foundation because <laughs> you don't have that sound, solid foundation the moment the storm comes yeah, everything it's going, falls it's, apart it yeah. falls apart um, but what I wanted to say I had a moment with Amaya um, so you know Amaya's been working out with me um, all, all through my workouts right um, but you know my daughter is the life of the party she is she, she, let, it, she let it talk right <laughs> so I had told Amaya one day like she was interrupting my workout and I was like Amaya please like you're talking too much I'm trying to like focus you're talking too much right two days later we had the workout and she was talking and she was like mommy am I talking too much and it bothered me mm-hmm. and I'm gonna tell you why it bothered me because I don't want her to ever feel like her Jeez. voice like she mm-hmm. has to shut her voice down so I said baby you don't have to ask me if you're talking mm-hmm. too much you can talk be free but just be mindful and you have to stay focused because you got to remember where we are mm-hmm. we're, we're working out right now it's not the time to play mm-hmm. but I don't want you to ever feel like am I talking too much mm-hmm. because I know like that's how kids become timid yep. and they don't, don't know when to talk and they don't know how mm-hmm. to speak for themselves and yeah. like I don't want her to ever shut her voice down because I need her to be very vocal <clears throat> yes. about what's going on with her and it really it kind of hurt my feelings because I was like oh my god I don't I, 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 told, I didn't want her to feel like my bad Jay I didn't want her to feel like I was telling her like you talk too much like you feel right. like you just are so no 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 I'm just you know but I said yes. it so quick that day and I was like yeah. but that's something I pride myself on just being good at going back and be like no 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 yes mm-hmm. it's okay like so you can it, you know what I mean I'm not like, saying that to you I was gonna like, uh, change my topic but like yeah. now that you said that it's crazy because I, I think about like different parenting styles because like my I probably wouldn't have said that I probably would have just been like with like I would have said something like be able to have tough skin like you like it probably been kind of similar to what y'all they saying mm-hmm. like be mm-hmm. you all the time you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying but don't be so sensitive at the fact that if somebody is like yo chill that don't mean that don't you don't you take wrong. down right you know what I'm like, like you can uh, real though, you, real you know what I'm saying? but yeah. if somebody say chill just understand yeah. how to take that and just chill in that moment right it doesn't mean you. like shut down you know what it, what it doesn't like, mean like you're overbearing right. Yeah, right. Just that's, like, yeah. Yo, chill. and that's why really i think true. we need two parents because right right no because that's it's a good balance to have it's the dad yeah, but they're gonna, t- they gonna right. tell you the same thing but you could take it differently, differently. Right. Yeah. right no but that's yeah. a great balance because like that's good that you said because you're right you know and i and i remember that day i felt so bad like and so me like I, like I never try to I, like I never want to short Amaya of anything. So anytime like I'm like oh my god like I hope she don't take it. Like mm-hmm. I be like really like I hope she don't take because like you gotta understand like you don't know how ever, like kids are little people. I say that like yes. they're little people yes. with little yes. problems. Yes. Then they're just like us. They literally carry the same, same. exact emotion, yes. but they're just like their own little problems. Like even when she talks about like her friend, like her feelings be hurt. I'm like damn. She feels like like I've experienced yep. that feeling before, mm-hmm. so yeah. I know it's valid, and I know it's hurting her the same mm-hmm. way something would hurt me. Yeah. So you got to kind of nurture it 
in that way. And yeah. Like, you, people you really got to nurture yeah, it just they, as much as you would need yeah, the support true. and advice. Like, I have to, I'm super supportive of mine because I'm like, like I know when she, she be like, like, if she come in and she's sulking, I'm like, all right, I got to be support, support her because, mm-hmm. like, you don't want her, them to feel like they don't have any support. Like yes. that, that that's moral Speaking of, of anything. Maya, can we get? Can we? You want to do this game? Oh, yes. Let's jump into the challenge. She, she just wanted to watch it. She oh, yeah, I'm about to say, you can call it. Maya out here. Though. I'll read the questions out. Maya. Oh yeah, we had a little game. Let's get this game popping. We got so okay, boom. So let me tell you the rules because you like to cheat. And I don't like to cheat. The, I what's just, the rule, Shaw? That that's what you did with the. I don't roll-up. cheat. I'm just. I just. I'm, I use my ingenuity. It's not cheating. Come on, ingenuity. Mm-hmm. That's that fright talk. <laughs> so, um, so boom. Basically, she's just gonna ask a question. We're gonna close our eyes. We're gonna point to where it is. But if it's both of us, you could do this. We gotta just, close our eyes though. To yes. Uh huh. Oh, I okay. mean, that's just the game. Yeah, okay. I, get, I mean, I, mean, I guess. It I think it's so you can't see what the other person. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. And you okay. wait until afterwards to see, that's, to that's you, and not choose based on what you see them doing. And don't be peeking. I should put a blindfold on you. Cause all right, because Amaya already gave me the first question to ask y'all. Okay. Let's go. All right. Most likely to apologize after a fight. I think I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I kind of want to be like, can we go before? But no, 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 no. All right. <laughs> Who has the better style? Style. Style. Like dressing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's most likely to start arguments? <laughs> <laughs> Who's most likely to get arrested? <laughs> <laughs> Who's most likely to cry in public? Easy. <laughs> Who's the most emotional? Who's the best kisser? Who's likely to laugh at a funeral? <laughs> Who spends the most money? (laughs) (laughs) Who is most likely to fall while drunk? (laughs) Who's most likely to be picky over a gift? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Who's the meanest? Let's see. Anyway, who's the who's the most dominant? Who texts the most? Who's the better parent? <laughs> <laughs> that one wasn't on there. I just added it in. <laughs> yeah, that was it. I don't know. I want to. I can't wait to see. I want to see because I want to see what he was. But what he was doing? <laughs> what well, was it like? Y'all was on spat. Some, some some of them times y'all was right on spat with it. Like both of y'all did the same. Thing. <laughs> 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 Thank you so. Like and that was lit. Do you got your hypothetical or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your hypothetical? Come Yo, on. so <sighs> I wanted to talk about this, but I feel like that's just not fun. I what? think it's kind of cool though. What? Because it's, it's we talking about the political races and everything right now. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna just do a couple. Okay. If y'all had to choose. A president that wasn't elected. That was not elected. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear yeah. that part. So like, if it was a president that wasn't it's, elected. And so if we be... could basically pick our own president. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, not nothing, but they had to run though. They, oh, they had, had to run. Okay. They had yeah. to run. Like somebody that ran that wasn't elected. Who would you choose? Mm. Oh, somebody that ran that was. See, I hate mine until you said somebody that ran. That ran. That's yeah, why I said. What you said that ran. All right, are we gonna go both. Let's let's do this way, and then we can go the other way. Do y'all have anybody that ran that wasn't elected? Because I have one. I, uh, I say, yeah. I say oh. Bernie. Bernie? Yeah, I would, yeah, I would say Bernie. Yeah, I, Bernie. Res- I would say Bernie out of respect. I would say sure. Al Gore. Yeah, did I say it right? Al Gore? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because remember, it was one time, I think it was like 08 or 06. Yeah, he was. Mm-hmm. He was talking about. Um, oh, he was going against Bush, right? Yeah, he was talking oh, about yeah. uh, global warming. Yeah, oh, he was. And yeah. He, was, he was heavy on He was on point yeah. with everything. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it's now, shit, it's going crazy, right? I wonder what. He saw. The, I wonder that what we d- like the U.S. would be yet. like if he if he became president. Yeah, yeah. And then he really he like, implemented, was able to that, implement yeah. a lot mm-hmm. of things that he wanted to implement, even though right. he's still like heavy into global warming right. and like doing That'd things like that. Right. But yeah. I, yeah. I wonder how it would be. Right, right. All right. So I guess we could just have fun with it. Okay. If y'all could choose somebody to be president, who would I want to be president? Ray Neal. Yeah. yeah. Who? Who, mm. who shot that? I got mine. 
Everybody look. I, you know who I want? Ooh. Michelle Obama. Oh my God, yeah. that's who I was gonna mm-hmm. say. I want Michelle Obama, a black strong. Yes. Queen. I don't know if a, no, no, I, I, you, I want to know uh, if it was a black yes. Country right yo, now. if the a black woman ran the, the country. president, the grandmas have y'all in check, right? Yo, like, the whole like a grandmother has all somebody all in all check. All, right. all the fine <laughs> detail, yep. is together. Mm-hmm. That might be right. That, that might. I was like. Say, so, Ju, you said Michelle. Yeah, you I, said I was going to say Michelle Obama, Obama too. Yes, yeah. I wish. Right. I wish. That right. would, oh. This is a, a, a funner one. Mm. Um, So, <laughs> if I got robbed, <laughs> do you A, ride out with me, or B, call the police? Ride out, like we pulling up on nigga? Or C, it's a C. Scroll up. Is it C too? Oh, shoot. Sure. <laughs> he's oh, not see, your man he's, anymore. You know what's crazy? I actually had an experience with this. I, not me, what? but because <laughs> I, I know he, I know he might watch this. Okay. So Wait, what? don't my, say his name. My ex friend got robbed, right? So like, you mm. know, like when you with somebody, and like you, you, if you know the person that they like, their friend, like y'all all become like a circle kind of, right, like right, y'all yeah, closer, yeah. Right, like right, yeah. friends and shit. Right. So like, he's my homie. But like oh, I think we would I be cooler, thinking. right? So like my ex friend got robbed and, and well my ex friend boyfriend got robbed mm-hmm. and she was mad that he didn't do anything. And like I think she had lost a uh, like uh she got robbed for a bag or something like that and he couldn't he couldn't pay for the bag because the, it was like a Louis V bag or some shit. So she was one mad because she let the nigga rob them and then two she was mad because he wasn't able to get the, another bag and I'm just like Damn. That's kind of shallow, yeah. but I mean, so wait, so, so was he with her? So wait, so basically, no, got robbed, got, the, got robbed, the bag got stolen, and he ain't replaced the bag, and she she was big mad. She was mad, but both she so mad did, that he let the dude rob her. As if so he wait, could do anything. Was, was he with her when she got robbed? Yeah, they both got robbed. Like, well, he got robbed like, too. What the fuck? Man, you gonna give me my stuff back? Right, right. <laughs> like, yeah. you, like, so I think she, I think she Flip wanted him coin, to. Nigga, at this point, who paid for what? <laughs> right. I think she wanted him um, to do something while they was getting robbed. But like, what was he supposed? Well, like, to was do? it gunpoint? Yeah. What the Did fuck he have something? To do? Did he have a gun? Because if he ain't have no. a gun, or he like that nigga on take no him, what the hell is he about to do? Right, if he like, had no gun, I mean, <laughs> what you think this nigga got superheroes? I mean, superheroes. So, <laughs> <you're about, laughs> <laughs> like, what? The- <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy though? I, okay, I, so but let me answer the question first. Right, yeah, yeah, so yeah. the question is, if you got robbed, mm-hmm. if my man gets robbed, I ride out with you to find these niggas, mm-hmm. call the police. Mm-hmm. Or you ain't my man no more. But how I don't even understand how a, 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 a answer because who said I want to even I want to ride out. Like, <laughs> right. who the fuck said I want to ride out. Right. All right, so this is how I look like... at it. Right, boom. If it's some niggas we know, let me say some. Nobody I know better yeah, ever yeah, rob me because hey. I'm pulling up at your door anywhere you at. Just off the principle, like facts. Like what? I'm now if I don't know you, I can't really ride what out. I, what if I don't feel that way? Like what if I don't want? Like, what if a nigga robbed me and you know I know him and I'm like, like yo, I got I'm a good. story too. Oh, like, I got a story too. You gonna be mad at me? Because you, like, you gotta be sure that they ain't so, the big so home. My friends before like so she used to she used to all her friends used to come over her house right. And back this this is back when Juicy Couture was a oh, thing. You yep. know he's a love Juicy Couture. Mm-hmm. Yes, girl. Yes. Sweat yes. Suits and stuff right. too. L- love Juicy Couture. Uh, so uh, the girl, one of the girls, stole her Juicy Couture bracelet. So she looking for the bracelet, looking for the bracelet. And one day they like all meet up. Shorty just randomly like has this bracelet. Oh, I want like, smoke. Just like whatever. So Shorty like how all of a sudden like. My lost bracelet. I lost a bracelet. You come up with a bracelet. So, long story short, she goes back. I guess she was like missing like fifty dollars, like in the same like the same time. So she's pissed off. Like, I guess the girl must have told him. Like, yeah, I just went to the store, bought me a cover. So she was like, Oh, did you flex? She told one of the friends like, oh, Okay, I'm going to her house. I'm gonna be her ass, or she don't give my shit. So the other friend was like, No, we can't fight her. That's your friend. What do you do if your friend steal from you? I mean, if your friend steal from so that's not true. not like, but but you nah. can't prove it. So so, so technically. She know it's hers, but it's like the girl like nah, such and such like bought it for me, and then like nah, I have my own money, but you really don't got the proof, but you know right. deep down, I mean, you know deep down, nah, bitch, that's can, mine. Nah, you follow the intuition. It. Nah, if you can't prove, see, I'm different. So like, right, but I said, what if I can't prove it? Smoke, okay. I want smoke. <laughs> you, I you, want smoke. My proof is seeing it on your arm. Okay, okay. yeah, proof. I want smoke because yeah, like, like, we didn't both have like, the same I think, exact thing. They ain't just making white juice guitar. First of all, I didn't talk about this. There's a lot of motherfucking little sticky finger thieves out there. Yes, people got accidentally pick up a little like. You know, nah, nah, because I feel like my sister be doing that shit. Like, she come over. 
I had little coats around. She accidentally swiped my coat up with hers. Now I see her snap. She got my coat on. Bitch, leave my fucking coat. You a thief. You my so, coat. But wait, let's Just get my back. fucking coat. Let's get back to this, though. Like, like, who said I'm going to want to ride out to find these niggas? Like, I might take if, the L. Like, is it is it a problem? L? That I, so, so is now, it a problem so, so, I want to so take the L? Answer. If you want to take the L, now these niggas in euphoria every week with you. Just chilling. I'm about to say, I think you it depends on the situation. Because sometimes right. you might want to take the L, but sometimes, you, you know, you can't, you can't take the L. Man, listen, like man. Somebody, say, sometimes you can't, you can't take you, the L. If I know you, I got to smoke. Because you're not about to bitch me. Now I see you at the club. You got my, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You stole from me. Now you, you Because then other people right. going to think that so they can do that. Now they just talk about, oh, you can Oh, they sweet. So that's a sweet thing. So what about this, right? You get robbed. You up your security or you up your your self awareness and your in your environment, and if that happens again, you're more prepared. But what happens if now you want to retaliate and now you get killed? Now niggas like, yeah, he went out like a G. I'm dead. Like I want, like, <laughs> like, like, like I'm dead. you got a point there, Jay. Like, no, like, I'm like, dead. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you gotta I'm take the L. It's crazy because I was, I said to say like when I was younger, a OG had told me some shit, and I always say this, but I I can never like like do it you know what i'm saying like it's, it's one of them things easier said than done the og was like man y'all somebody had tried to rob me with a bb gun and i, I fought the dude or whatever and the og was like man y'all young niggas is just wow. stupid yeah, baby. basically just... <laughs> he like man a nigga robbed me with a knife he could have it in a while because i can get that back you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying he took my phone i can buy that back mm-hmm. you stab me in my eye or something hey, like that you hit an artery yeah, you can't, i can't take that back that's and i always like that was the the best advice that's that i ever got yeah. but i could never really like yeah, you fathom like still to this day it's like i think i ain't about to rob you with a knife but at the same time right, og right. had a point because it's like yo like that's real though over my motherfucking what right. my pride like yo yeah. take that because you know that's yeah. all it be in most cases when people retaliate or they acting extra tough about it anyways usually their pride now you make me feel like i'm a bitch so now i gotta come and you feel like like, but more. how do you win? Because like I said, like so then you don't retaliate now. He telling niggas like, Yo, oh, that's sweet. sweet. And now you, got, like now you rob again. Now they don't. Get, now you, you got robbed again. You the one that's always get robbed. 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 I was about to say, you know, there's a nigga that get robbed like, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody <laughs> like, don't go all the time. Now you gotta up your up your. your, your you know what I'm saying? Your, your surroundings. Now I, spend, now I gotta spend more money on security. Nah, not even security. Robbed. You might get a strap at this time. You know what I'm saying? Like just get a strap. Like you could. It could happen one time. But I mean, now if, you, if this is happening like four or five times, you're like, <laughs> man, was like, yeah, you're the laughing stock of the motherfucking black. All right, so like, question. Amaya had asked me this the other day. You ever, you ever been bullied before? You used to get bullied at all? Y- y- kinda. What you mean? <laughs> uh, So like, um, I used to get teased. My mom was on drugs. So like, my, like in the projects, like everybody know everything, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So like the kids used to, like, I think like the kids, older brothers used to like sell my mom's yeah, drugs. Say, so, so, like, they so they used to talk mad, wild shit to me, but... I started fighting. It's like that's mm-hmm. why, like I, I really started fighting so young. Like I failed twice in like elementary school. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, so it's like I have, but I haven't. You know what I'm saying? Because I that's still bullying. Yeah, I just yeah, no, took I up just for myself. Know, I say, I yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but I was getting like, that's still yeah, a form right. of bullying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like niggas yeah. used to always like try to pick on me all the time. But I said I used to get my ass whipped because like niggas would pick on me, and I would fight. And then, like, next thing you know, I'll never forget, like, my cousin used to come over my crib or whatever, and my cousin was, like, older than me, and he could fight his ass off. And, like, he was, like, before I really learned how to, like, really defend myself over, like, fuck the, like, fair fighting, because I used to always be, like, I want to fight fair. My, you know what I'm saying? That? Like, nah, so my cousin, he was really about that. So, like, he used to come, and, like, when I, the people that used to beat me up, or I used to get, I used to fight, he used to beat them up, and the next thing you know, he leave. And, and now they jumping me like now they whip my ass. Like I remember like what I used to get my ass whipped. Like I jumped so many I probably got jumped more times than I had one on one fights. Cause mm. like when I would fight one on one, I used to handle my business. Yeah. But niggas had family. My mouth yep. was old. Pit like in the projects, like it was if really crazy. Like the yeah. parents was fighting with the kids. Yep. My mom's old, so I'm trying to tell my mom's like, yo, Chill, like they pick mom. on me. She like, baby, like don't worry about that. Goes around, comes around. God got <laughs> you. I'm like, you feel me? Like we outside with like their parents fighting and shit, and like you telling yeah, the me projects is definitely like, different because you're telling like, me like don't worry like, about it. The whole it. family like, definitely be oh, the yeah. whole family, like the, the cousin, whole, the sister, the mommy, the, the, the auntie, the uncle, the like all just like goddamn, like we deep out here. It's like my mom's like. Listen, like we ain't doing all that ignorant <laughs> stuff. Like, like that's, no. you know, but the what goes around comes around kills. I'm you. not trying to hear that shit. Like God, no, God always got your back. Like <laughs> God playing games with me right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga playing no, with me right, right now. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
No, I definitely got. I mean, yeah, I definitely got bullied. I just yeah. And then I got my ass whooped for trying to fight bully. I remember like this one bully was messing with this dude or whatever. And like I'm the same age as him, but I'm like, you see, he ain't gonna fight back. Fight me, nigga, whoop my ass. <laughs> Like, actually, I was trying to stand up, nigga. I was young, like, like niggas be thinking too because I right. got a couple fights. Niggas think I ain't never lose a fight. I'm like, nah, I got my ass with a, like a lot of times. Like, <laughs> that's how you learn. That's how you learn. Like, like, you ain't lose no fights. Nigga, yeah. I just, I just was never scared as a youngin', but that yeah. shit got my ass whooped a, a yeah. few times. Cause I used to always just jump out there like, man, you ain't da 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 da. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> and see, but we <laughs> was younger too. Down, yeah, but like it was different. Used to fight actually. Like, yeah, like no, nowadays no, it's I not remember. the same. Like nowadays yeah. you can't just fight. Like yeah. they gonna try to shoot you. Yeah, it's definitely because oh. I remember I used to. So when I was younger, I used to be like scared to fight because I like I hated fighting. And I remember my cousins put me on top of this hill. So it was my my cousins and me, and then it was this girl and her little sister. So her and my cousins were friends. So they used to force us. Like they used to put us on top of this hill and like force us to fight and like I said didn't want like I never wanted Yo. to do it they used to like push us into each other oh we, yeah you know what we, you know what we used to do in the process <laughs> I swear to god right we used to do the, we used to do the dumbest shit like we used to do like we used to do the stupidest shit we used yeah. to have like Little sticks and shit. We used to break it out the tree, put it on the shoulder, be like, yo, this your mother. If you knock it off, <laughs> then he, like, yo, we used to, yeah, I we remember to, that. It could be the dumbest price. Like, you know, put the branch on your, so on your shoulder if and be like, yo, off. that's your mother. If you knock it off, he, like, he, just, he, just, he just said, fuck your mother. So now you got to fight. We're like, oh, fuck. Like, we used to fight I remember over the dumbest that. shit. So man. stupid. Like, oh, like, like, I just look back on that. But we was just young. Like, we used to just fight. Yeah, like, I, I used to fight just for nothing. It was yeah. for. My, it wasn't me. It was my cousins. They just used to be bad as fuck. And I used to always be my cousins. So I used to always get in the crossfire. But I never I never forget, like, the first time I actually got my shit, little shit slumped up. Little bitch caught me. I was like, I just knew I was getting it. And all of a sudden, like, she caught me. And I, and I like, I couldn't see for, like, a week, bro. Mm. I was pissed. I came home. My mom beat my ass. She said, like, you come in here with a black eye? I'm like, damn, I'm you coming gonna beat for me sympathy. Black eye. Yo, come beat that's me. how. You gonna beat me because I got a black eye? That's how like, I. I'm, come hug me. The fuck? She was like, you coming in my blood cloud. I was like, that was, like, that was, <laughs> that was my first yeah. time, actually. Um, I never forget. She was like, you're like, yo, don't bump your eye. I was like. <laughs> that was the first time I actually. Uh, Ma, like. That was the first time I actually, like. I had to like fight on my own. I'll never forget. I'll never forget this day because it's my first fight. Like I was, um, I think I got chased home or something like that. Nigga, like niggas chased me home. My first fight, right? Boys are so, so yeah, different. So like, nah, like niggas, like, so like, like, listen, different. like niggas oh, chased me boys home. Boys is so different. So my, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a child. So I, I unlocked my door. Oh. I left the key in the door. Oh, I shut the door. The and nigga the took key. the key. And, but he ain't come in. Give me his young. But he oh, took yeah. the key. And the only oh, thing I could mom. think about oh, was my mom's going to whip my ass. <laughs> Listen, like, I always been, like, fast as shit. Yeah. So, like, it clicked in my mind what happened. I chased this nigga <laughs> down. It, it took so five. So, you home. Yo. Now, you chased it took, it took, like, then. five adults to get me up this nigga because I was so, I mean, I, I was just thinking, that. like, yo, my, my, my mom no, is no, going to whip my ass no, as she no, found out I ran no, from a nigga. Yeah, no, no, seriously. Ever since then, I was just fighting. It's bad as Did you get the key back, Jack? I ain't about to get my Did you get the key back? No <laughs> Yo, I never forget like niggas yeah, really was, Why was home, parents so. like that though? Like if you get if you get beat up, you better not come in. My mom literally said, like, let me tell you something. If you, you going out there fighting, you get your ass beat, I'm beating your ass. I'd be like, what? And what not, logic I'm, is that? Not, 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 I'm beating your ass and I'm sending your ass back, back outside. Yeah, no, be yeah. Like, right. So exactly. unless, you, so unless you have family, right? And, right. and your and your family run or you oh, what? <laughs> They want to whip yeah, yo, the my, whole family. They didn't play that. They're like, yo, that shit was crazy. But yeah. we fighting for this. Yeah, that shit was wild. <laughs> Where we at with it, man? Trending topics. Trending topics. Where we at with the? Uh, I ain't we are gonna lie. an hour and two minutes, so we good. Oh, oh okay. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even really look into this Doja Cat. Nah, yo. So I seen I something see on so Instagram. I didn't see. I didn't. I didn't. I guess she the was video. on like a Zoom. So it looked what did like she say? it looked like she was just pull it up because I'm trolling. But she was trolling the white man. Like, so she was in there, but it wasn't like she didn't say no. I didn't see nothing in which she was like degrading black people or somebody, saying I anything loud. Somebody said she said nigger to, to trying to appease the white man, something like that. I thought she said she didn't want to be black or something like that. I, I have no idea. When I seen the little clip that Alex had sent us, I ain't, it, you can't really hear nothing. Like, it's just like, uh, why, like, why, why, why we. Yeah, no, I see she turned the comments off, like, to like. They wildin'. Like, yeah. So, like, wait, did I miss something? Yeah, Maybe I, I, I missed the clip or something. I looked on the shade room, I ain't seen no shit. Yeah, and that's what I, yeah. I that shit, to be honest. Academic posted some shit like that, and I was like, damn. go to like, niggas is. Yeah, yeah. I, I, um, yo, the cancel culture is nah, crazy. I want to find out who behind this. Uh, Joe Biden speaking. Of oh shit! Right, oh, so. <laughs> to that, to that, um, 
what the fuck? Oh, we should have played that clip. I yeah. just, I think, damn, I had it too. So I just feel like. So first of all, he said, if you had the, um, if you got to choose between me, me and, Trump. and Donald Trump, then you ain't, ain't black. black. Like he said this. He said like, this. My thing shit. is like. Who the fuck? So let's keep it on. So, so, so basically, basically, white people are fighting over us. <laughs> from the beginning. From the beginning. From the beginning. Yes, get out. It's also, get out it's, it's yeah. the same thing. White people are fighting over us who gets their vote. But the all fucking dacity. I'm sorry, because you know what motherfuckers have? Audacity. Audacity. Okay. Ooh. To even think that you can stand up here and think that my blackness is determined Term off of you. Yep. White non- fella, yeah. Cracker, <laughs> so Asian, I want to ask like, this: whatever all the names you can yeah, think you of. Can, yes, I said it. Can I ask this? I said it. I was so, let's, let's let's. I just want to ask this question. I know right, y'all probably kill me for this. Oh, man, I don't oh know. lord! Yo, oh lord! Are we really mad at him for what he said, or because he's white saying it? Mm. Because I feel like. Both. I didn't hear Nick. <laughs> both like, It sounds like some shit that my homie would say, like, yo. Both you, you But you bo- know what it sounds like it stemmed from? Because remember, he was Obama's. Yeah, his uh, vice, vice president. president. So, VP. like, he really, in his mind, he really probably think that because that's what they were saying when Obama was running for so president. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, I get but, uh, so, like, so, are you trying to say if he, okay, so. If he if was a black person. Right, right, and he said that, would we really be wild? So, if I was like, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. Yeah. You better vote for Joe Biden if you black. People said that black when Obama was here. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a fair point because people are saying that. Now. We got to go can, back to the history. Can he though. say it? No. Yeah, we got to go back that's to like, the history That's like white say nigga, yeah. I guess. No, but it's not even that. The thing is, on top of that, it's like. First of all, I'm really tired of these influencers thinking they can get up here and say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day, no matter which way you flip it, even if you're like, if we said it, it's okay, he didn't. At the end of the day, we cannot encourage that. Mm-hmm. Like, we can't. And we can't even encourage that message because at the end of the day, our blackness isn't determined by no Nobody white man white being person. in no office because yep. it's not yeah. benefiting us at all on, yeah. no, mm-hmm. on no spectrum, neither yep. side. Facts. So it's really fuck y'all, mm-hmm. for real. But what we're not going to do is influence any other white men or to influence the any other younger black person who doesn't understand the history in its entirety to even think that it's okay like this is okay like i like you know damn if i don't vote for you know biden i ain't i ain't black enough like what the, what the fuck? fuck like yeah to see even say that did y'all watch the whole interview huh? crawl like to did y'all watch that. the whole interview I, no i didn't so, i didn't watch it but i bef- saw that clip before that right I what i will say yo it seemed like the dude is like Reaching so much but y'all for the gotta, black vote, you like, gotta do like, the, you gotta do the about. research. You gotta do the research on him though, because the bills that he was on in like the nineties. Yeah, I heard. I heard like first the um, was it? They not, sent most of our uncles and, uh, and fathers and shit to jail. Politics are not what, for us it? in general. Yeah, it the system is built matter. for black people it's to fail. It's not so. benefiting hmm. us. It's not for us. So yes, he may be the lesser of the evil between him but and they Trump, both the devil but it don't nigga. matter. Like this is not benefiting us. No, no. Way. Mm-hmm. like, and I'm just like, again, like, it's just annoying to even think that yeah. you could read like they, but the thing is, all I get from it is y'all need us. Yeah. Period. Yeah, y'all right. need us. So if period. y'all need us so bad, work a system that works in our favor. Yep. Stop right. begging for our vote, vote. and doing nothing right. for us. Like mm-hmm. that's what really irritates me. So you get on these platforms and I'm sorry. Like I get Charlamagne did the interview and all this stuff, but like people got to stop letting people come on their black platforms. Yes, acting say like this. Anything. But what, yeah, yeah. But what I will say though, honestly, I feel like that was a great interview from, um, Charlamagne God from a few reasons and one because black entertainment or black media don't usually get that yes like you won't you rarely see black media getting that interview mm-hmm. so that's cool we need that because it's, it's a different audience and we need to well, see what's going on and see what they talk about because I honestly if, if Charlamagne didn't do that interview we probably wouldn't have, we probably wouldn't have heard what he had to say but if I that's feel a good if point though Jay. official I'm sure somebody would have had it done on title I don't think it's better than fitting on one of our platforms. When well, we turn around. So at the end of the day, Charlotte May might have got paid, but a, the bigger corporation that got paid isn't from a black dollar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, that's not that's what you not mean? true. What you mean? So where's the where's the Instagram? Because it was on Instagram, right? It's on Instagram, right? On YouTube, yeah. They, they get their bet. They get their bet. That's not the white dollar, which is why we have Jay Z having title. Right. Because it's not if it was getting streamed on title, I'd be like, cool. But no, wait, is it, I think that's the same thing because like, but, so like I, I kind of get what you're saying, but I feel like the Breakfast Club and title, mm, like, 
I, I get. I guess we don't want to put them on the same. But honestly, the when it came to when it came to like these styles of interviews, the Breakfast Club really stat. They really led the way with that. Yeah. Like they the ones that yeah. really led yeah. the way. So yeah. like when I'm saying things like that, like uh, Charlamagne the God was like, I don't want to say the first, but he yeah. was one of the first black media to, to interview uh, Hillary Clinton. But I'm sorry, you know what I'm he's saying? getting suspect to me too. I'm sorry. Like and like he's to me he's fi- falling in the trap of everything we talk about feminizing. I fucking hated that video. When he was just fucking dancing and twirling and being gay, was I'm that sorry. real? I don't know. He did it. Don't say that was really him. I yes, thought it was it like was I thought it was like uh, Photoshop or some shit. Mm-hmm. Like, that know, shit was but gay. even you even posted but that. Off it's that. Like, it was no, good. it's was not gay. off that because the whole like period like we're gonna stop acting like demask. Yes, uh, uh, I need the right word. Demasculization. Feminizing the black man, making them less. Masculine, masculine yes. has always been a part of the agenda yes. or enslavement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Great. to me, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> to me, <laughs> I just feel like I don't know. I ain't really no. The nigga, I get what you're saying. No, I get that. But to that's but to me, to me, it's all like I guess what I'm trying to say is okay. So yes, it's probably. A good look as far as okay, him being one of those personnel to get, get the answers that. But Cardi did with, one with Bernie yep. Sanders, and that's so and shout like, out to Cardi too though for but that though. What is it doing to help? It's, it's what it's doing to help. What, what is what is doing to help is allowing us to understand. Granted, we can go to see and then we can go to or Fox. put it in our face. No, but no, that's and that, that's what I'm saying. That's putting it in our face because we watch the millennials, the young crowd. We watch the Breakfast Club. We might not watch Fox. We might not watch yeah. CNN, Bro. but we watch the Breakfast Club. So to see Bro. Charlemagne get that interview now, we can have a better understanding that oh, this is what he stand yeah. for. Oh, this is what he don't stand for. Oh, he's yeah. this type of person. You so get what I'm saying? Do you think, I uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Joel. Do you think that pushing? So do you think that? In some limelight, uh, Charmaine, Charmaine, Charlemagne is endorsing that message. Can Not, do you think that people can mistakenly see it like that if you kind of support it, like you're doing this Joe Biden? Because, like, for example, like people who aren't in the politics, they might be like, "Oh, that's a good look," but if they don't listen to it in its entirety, they don't know. But they see Charlemagne, the God, doing an interview with Joe Biden, his fans and his mm-hmm. things thinking it's an endorsement message like oh vote so, for joe biden n- hell no i say no because uh it's really just an interview and he he, he asked the questions like he asked about mm-hmm. what are you going to do for the black mm-hmm. people like what are you going to do for us you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. he asked those questions it wasn't mm-hmm. like all right bet you got my vote he mm-hmm. really just interviewing he and he and what i will say is if you follow the breakfast club then you will understand that they are one of the few mm-hmm radio shows that interview politics period yeah. like they, yeah. they interview yeah. like yeah. a few politics they interview, they interview shit, everybody. You know what I'm saying? like you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's like yeah. i will say that so it's like they're really just giving us the platform yeah. to hear it because yeah. a lot of times we ain't gonna research yeah. it just being, yeah. you know what i'm saying like just keep i mean it's real and that's yeah. tying into that's what cool. i was about to say because i was about to actually say that like i think it's great that they're bringing it to our community and that our people are actually able to tune in and listen, like what Jay said. But I yeah. also do agree with Shade in a sense where it's like, is it really for us or is this another way for you to, you know, promote yourself yeah. and make yourself look yeah. better in our community? In, in our community. For, as far as Charlemagne, mm-hmm. I think it's for us just because, like, where I think he's at. Like, reading his book, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, just seeing, hearing how... He perceived his past and like where he's at yeah. now, the things that he learned, you know what I'm saying? The things that he went through and even the mistakes he made yeah. and being transparent with that. And to and to see where he's going with these interviews, I think I think he's doing it for us because he's mm-hmm. he's really asking the right questions. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Picking, he, yeah, he was yeah, he, making him So safe. so Charlemagne's agenda is Yeah, I think but I, I, Joe, I, Biden Joe Biden to 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 oh, Joe answer Biden, her. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I I didn't get genuine. Like, that's what I was saying before before the comment. It seemed like Joe Biden was reaching so heavy mm-hmm. for the black vote, and it was, it seemed it, he might as well say, "Can y'all please, vote, can not, y'all please vote for me?" Yeah, not even that. He might as well say, "You know, you know, you know." Like you always say, if you um you call a white person racist, right? They, their their go to is, mm-hmm. "I'm not racist." I my love friend my friends are black. black. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it was literally like the equivalent to that. He might as well just been like, 
yo, I'm not racist. Because everything he was saying, yep. like, she was like, check the records. Like, when I was doing this back in the day, I was working with the black people. I don't people. think you want I, people to check the and records. I'm like, yeah. shut up. Like, yo, just. <laughs> That's But black. you know, honestly, I, I think like this that. is. I think Y'all got to watch they, that. Like, he was really. Yeah, I want to see it, I think, I think this is what they really meant by the, the revolution would be televised. Because it's like, now you get to really see yeah. what these people was yeah. doing when our grandparents and great grandparents mm-hmm. didn't get to see that. Right. Yeah. And raw like that. Because, yeah. like, he didn't. He can't think about his he answers before. Before he asked them. Yeah. He right. asked that question and he had to stutter because he was stuttering like shit. He was not like being responsive <laughs> to the questions. Like it's just the type of so thing they was like, yeah, that could. Biden was he, he passed a law for why the mass incarceration mm-hmm. that impacted blacks mm-hmm. and African Americans. Yeah. Yeah. He's the one that passed yeah. that law. Yeah. So yeah. it's yeah. like don't get on the breakfast club yeah. and say basically vote for me. I'm yeah, for the right. So yeah. he, and he tried to say that he passed a law so you can get arrested. For, he was just he honestly. Was really that, 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 honestly, he should have. <laughs> honestly, the shit should say if you is black, you shouldn't vote for me because my nigga, if we put all your fucking family. But in so what I will ask yeah. y'all, right? I think that just fucked the I, whole shit up. Yeah, though. so like yeah, I think uh, it just fucked the whole not, political not, thing. Not to ask if you're voting for Trump or not, but it's like because I think people not gonna vote now. So all right, yeah, So here's point, the here's, here's what, the thing. The I think do? the the pro- the crazy thing is like. As bad as this may sound, hmm. if you get in money, Trump's your guy. Trump I was about a, to say, yo, Trump Trump's your a guy. Fire under people ass, and people don't be seeing it. Like Trump, yeah. Trump's him your being guy. Here made us. That's what Rick Ross said. As soon as Trump became president, he was like, "Oh yeah, this 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 all right." Because now everybody about to have to move. Like you gotta yeah. move God different now because mm-hmm. get lost. So, and because of be, that, and because of that, I, I heavily think that. Trump really still has a yeah, great chance gone. of winning. Yeah. Still, yeah, and um, and just to be honest, hey, like he's not even saying nothing right now. Yeah, like I, I mean, I you ask me to be honest, me nobody do what I do. Look, don't make this another one of them things. I'm just saying, <laughs> me, okay? I don't know if I'm voting. Yeah, I think I don't know if I'm voting. Just off some drill, like I at this point, I like I, I my morale won't mm-hmm. let me vote for Trump. Mm-hmm. But if I Trump wins. Say- and I'm continuously making money, it will benefit because me. Because at but the my end of the day, that's what happened my, last time. My we principal won't let me Trump. vote for him. So but I'll, also, my principal won't let me vote for Joe Biden, Biden either. But let's, let's not, like, I'm sorry. Let's not say that, right? I'm not but encouraging not, people not, not, not to not, vote. That's no, fine. What I'm I will say, that's fine. Me, I don't no, know. No, that's fine. But what I think, like, to say the same thing, but change the narrative is, like, even if you don't vote, for the presidential election, yes, vote Congress. for the. You got it. You get know what I'm saying? Like, yes. let's, that least, is what, we gotta push okay. that. You get know what I'm saying? Because it's so yes. important. And I, I'm, yes. I don't know if it passed. I don't. I'm not. I don't, I'm not even sure. We need to find that out so we can really start yeah. pushing yeah. that Using agenda. It. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we yeah. need. Like, if you yeah. don't want to vote yeah. for a presidential, right. at least you got people in your, your community, city. right? Get your community together. That's hundred percent correct. I just, just but presidential. I mean, I don't know. Look into it though, because I mean, honestly, like. Again, yeah. yeah, Trump is a wild boy, but yeah. from what I've heard, yeah. he's like, if you get in a bag, like he's yeah. definitely the one that- Because he, he trying to protect his bag. So you better get a bag now, because he protecting right. bags. So I mean, like, That's what the thing about Trump, the thing about Trump, people hate them all, he really runs like a corporation. Yeah. His mindset is like, I'm the head of the honcho. As long as these things fall in line, I'm good. So if you're in this- That's line, what our country is right. though, what a big ass say, corporation. But, but what yeah, I will say is- a big ass corporation. What I will say is, as much as we don't fuck with Trump, we gotta respect it because at least he's not like Biden. Yeah, like Biden is like he's li- this nigga lying. Circle, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Bullshit. Say this nigga lying. You know what I'm saying? Whereas though Trump is like, yeah, if I don't, I don't like you, this, I don't like you. I don't like you. You know what I'm saying? Very, at least you're real. Like, and, and that's what the yeah, Biden is just like right. talking that's in circles. Like you people, bullshit. That's the one thing people were saying from the beginning about Trump. The thing is Trump. What it is is he just says everything that they've been saying behind right, our backs exactly. in front of us. Exactly, he just say it out loud. He just, you know what I'm like, he just yeah. says it out loud, and it's like at least you know where you fucking stand with this nigga. Like, yeah. and on top of that, at least you, you know he's a successful businessman. Like, like, you know he can get this country up business wise because right. he's done it yeah. for his own. So the only thing I don't like about Trump is just his insensitivity to the people, and as being a president of the United States, I think you still have to be Something. sensitive Something. to yeah. the Something. people. Like Gemini. he does yeah. not have yes. no, he has, no, he really is. He has no filter <laughs> yeah, on what comes out of his man. mouth and what conditions the people are in and, and how they may perceive how it. You he does feel not after care. That. Yeah, like, and right. I think as a president, you, you yeah. cannot. I, I just feel like you have to have some sympathy 
for all the people mm-hmm. that is under you. And he just doesn't. Like, this nigga gives no fucks. Like, he ain't give a no, fuck about the people that was no working fucks. with him at first. Like, you and see, how them motherfuckers got locked them up. fucking reporters, like, them nigga. I know oh, they be want to go wow. quit their jobs after. Throw like, hands. Like, right. like, <laughs> throw like hands I'll be like, yo, like, he be... <laughs> This but nah, man, that, I think that was good. Um, yeah, we good off the of episode twenty six. Yeah, off of yeah we good, we good, we good, we good with it. About yeah, we that was a good episode. We had one twenty for the ladies. Take over for the lady take over. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Episode twenty six, Gemini Scorpio podcast. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification button. Make sure you fuck with us on Instagram at the Gemini Scorpio Pod. Hailer Bay, J Hill, Ambitious J C, uh, Pink, Pink Celebrity, celebrity. um, Wyman Productions, Alexander Blanc, the Blanc. You know what I'm saying? Just fuck with us. Episode 26. We out. We out. It's a wrap. It's a wrap.